Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to create your own brushes and brush icons in the Nomad Sculpt program. You will also learn how to add downloaded brushes to devices running on iOS and Android. I've also created nine custom brushes that you can find via the link in the description. I'll show you how they work later on. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Your feedback motivates me to create new content. All right, let's create our custom brush. We're going to make a move brush with settings that affect the geometry across the entire depth of the model. First, clone the move brush and give it a name. In the settings, enable silhouette mode and choose view. Now let's create an icon for our brush. We need to apply the brush effect to a surface and render our model with a transparent background. In the render settings, check the transparent background option and choose square in the final size section. Then click export PNG and save our render. After that, click on your brush and replace the icon with the one you've just created. Finally hit save. Here's how this brush works. Choose your desired view and then use the brush to manipulate the surface. You'll achieve results like this. It's a fantastic tool for working with ring thicknesses and more. Compare it to the regular move brush. Our brush moves polygons throughout the entire depth of the model. In summary, clone the brush, adjust its settings to your needs, modify the brush's alpha or pressure settings, and demonstrate how your brush works on the model. Render the result with a transparent background. Replace the brush icon with your rendered image and save the brush. I've created several custom brushes which you can find on my Gumroad page. There are also other supplementary materials available. Simply follow the link in the description. I'll demonstrate how these brushes work for you. Clay Round. This brush is similar to the standard one, but it has a round alpha instead of a square one. The hair brush is designed to create strands of hair on models. It forms the basic volume and I further refine the hair with the crease brush. Crease 2, a modified version of the standard brush, Crease 2 comes with an additional alpha file for creating more intricate patterns and folds in 3D models. Furrow. The furrow brush is designed for creating sharp indentations on the surface of sculptures. Wrinkle. This brush is perfect for creating wrinkles and fine lines on your sculpture. Move Spike. The Move Spike brush is excellent for moving polygons, creating surface elements resembling spikes or sharp protrusions. You can also use this brush for shaping and creating angles, like this. Move Pro. The Move Pro brush allows you to move polygons throughout the depth of your model. Round Edge. The round edge brush rounds off the model, making it less sharp and giving it a smoother appearance. Noise. The noise brush creates a textured, uneven surface on the model. How to install downloaded brushes. Installation for iOS users. Close Nomad Sculpt. Then copy the brushes and paste them into the Tools folder on your tablet in the folder named Nomad. Nomad slash tools. Launch the Nomad Sculpt program. Installation for users on Android, close Nomad Sculpt. Standard Explorer does not see the folder with the program. I found the program File Manager Plus in Play Market. Copy the brushes and paste them into the Tools folder on your tablet in the folder named Nomad. Copy the JSON files to the folder, android slash data slash com dot dot nomad slash files slash tools. Launch the Nomad Sculpt program. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you found it helpful and inspiring. If you enjoyed this content, 
Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more exciting tutorials and creative journeys. Stay tuned for more amazing content and until next time, happy sculpting!